So just before closing this project series, I want to deploy it on render. So I already deployed it on render and I want to show you what the steps I did. First of all, you basically got to change the structure of the project. I had to move of things a few because initially what I had was I named my, uh, you know, I had a client and a, then I had a server folder. I named that to API. And remember the package.json what was in, the, in here? I moved it over here to package.json. Over here we have a script, so make sure you have this build, uh, npm install and npm install hyphen hyphen prefix client and npm run build hyphen hyphen prefix client. So this is basically gonna install the front end package, front end back end and it's gonna basically uh, do it for render. This is specific for render. And you can see over here we have a dev and start. So we have a nodemon API slash index. Now API slash index means this one, okay? Now inside the index.js over here, we basically added these two things. First, we added the import path from path. We got the directory name from the path.resolve because in the render when it's gonna be deployed, it's gonna be in a different name. So that's why we need the directory name. After these API routes, we basically have to add in this app.use express static Express.static path I join directory name and client slash dist because this is a Vite project and not a uh, npm run start you know create re uh, create React app project which just has you know the other way to do it. So after that we have app dot get uh, asterisk request response send response dot send file path dot join directory client and then we have dist index dot html. This basically means run all of these things first. And then once you do that, run the index.html, which is our React application. Okay, so now everything is done. We basically make sure we have committed. So one actually other thing I wanted to show is that in the uh, front end folder, so in the client, we have the source, remember the pages, and then here we had the page where, you know, essentially it was the home page. And then over here, remember when we were fetching the cards, uh, I just changed it back to flex, flex wrap and gap four. Now everything, uh, you know, looks good. You can basically uh, have this all off. And what I'm gonna do, it doesn't really mean uh, you have to make it off, but you know, just put in your uh, git add, git commit. Make sure this is on a GitHub repo. So uh, render config uh, done, okay? Then we have git push, have a new origin, and then we have main. So now once we have done this, you can see it's, you know, pushed to the repo, go to the render website. Render website is like this, make an account for free, right? So get started for free. Over here, you can see my projects. So right now we have Mern blog and the real estate one. So if you look at the Mern blog website, you can see right now I have, uh, you know, clicked on this. So you click on web service, and then after that you say build and deploy from Git repository. After that, you connect your GitHub repo. So, you know, after some time it would basically add your GitHub repo, just connect your Mern blog one. After that, you have to assign it with the GitHub. So just name it as anything you want, just name it whatever you want, uh, region, whatever is close, main. Uh, root directory is optional, branch is main, runtime is node. Um, over here, npm for build command is npm run build, and for start command is npm run st npm start, okay? And then basically you select this free tier and add your all environment variables. So in the environment variables, you basically had API, and over here, remember, Mongo, connect. So just basically go back here, paste it, bring this, don't add the quotes, just add this. Okay, copy, and go back here, paste it. Same thing, add another one, so go back here. So right here, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then there's one more, which is from our backend folder. So this was our front end. So this was actually our backend. We have to go now to our front end. So over here we had an env. Copy this one. Paste. And then we have this one. And then we have paste. Once we have done all of that, you could just ignore all these advanced things and then just click on create web service and it should you know create that web service for you. Is you can see right now we have Mern blog deployed. Click on it. 
and you know it should deploy it um, click on this uh, link and then you know you have your blog deployed okay so this is really nice all the blogs are there one thing is gonna uh, be a problem is that you know the Google OAuth so to get that figure figured out just copy this path it's just this and go to the uh, firebase so firebase.google.com okay so when we're gonna be in here we have to go to the console So once we're in the console, we're gonna have to go into the, you know, uh, the Mern blog, and then in here we have this authentication, and then we have the settings, or basically, um, yeah. So authentication settings, and then we have authorized domains. <laughs> I tried with the Vercel, I mean, you know, wasn't having an, a good. I mean, there is a way to do it, but right now we're just doing with this. Uh, so render, just add this, like this. Okay, Mern blog. That's on render. Add it. So once it's added, wait for a few seconds and refresh your application here. Let's go back. Okay. So now to go and sign in. Sign in with Google. It should work now. So now you can now log in. And there you go. You basically logged into your account. Go to your profile. I'm not an admin. I'm just a normal user. So I could just basically change my profile picture, change my password. And I can't write blogs, but I could just read or like them. So like I could go in this blog. And I say, um, this is a very insightful blog okay s i g h t g h -T. okay submit so you can see my comment is there i like it i could edit it i could also delete it refresh it it's saved in our database so thank you for watching this whole application series i mean it was a great progress and we could now actually um, you know, update it to according to our needs and hopefully we'll move on to other projects in the future. So stay tuned and subscribe to Coding Cleverly.